Welcome in my fellow fitness enthusiasts to today's upper body am rep workout coming to you from Revision Training. My name is Tyler Marin and I will be your instructor for today. Today's workout, am rep, as many repetitions as possible. This is a really cool one guys because this is coming from our quick workout series. It's going to be really fast, really tight. Um, and it's gonna be a great way to just kind of get in and work out on the fly. If this is something that you are interested in, you're definitely gonna wanna stick around and check this out. Appropriate for any fitness levels. And of course, from Revision Training, we are working in a format that is friendly for people who have vision and people who don't. So if you got full vision, you can see me in the camera here, no problem. If you don't, then I'm going to 100% describe how we are moving, what we're doing, so that you're gonna be able to follow along without a problem. Let me introduce you, myself to you real quick and then we're gonna jump into the workout. So my name is Tyler Marin. I am a three-time Paralympic athlete, personal trainer, motivational speaker, and a husband and father and owner of Revision Training LLC where our mission is to bring accessible fitness to everybody. Uh, visually impaired, sighted, all across the board. So what we're gonna work on today is called an AMRAP workout, as many repetitions as possible. Now the really cool thing about doing an AMRAP workout is that you're going to be able to track your progress in an AMRAP workout very easily. They're very flexible, they're quick, but um, the way we're setting this up is you have two minutes per exercise. We only have three of them. We got three upper body exercises that we're gonna do. You only have two minutes per exercise and what you're gonna do is count the number of repetitions you do in each exercise. We're gonna write that down so that then you guys can come back to this video at another time and you can try to beat those numbers. And every time you beat it, you get a little bit stronger, you get a little bit better. So it's a really cool way to track your progress. One thing that I'm gonna caution you with and then we're gonna jump into the exercises. Make sure that with this type of workout, a lot of times when you're working in timed workouts or as many repetitions as possible, you have a tendency, you will have a tendency to sacrifice your form and technique for more repetitions or a quicker time. Fight against that. Make sure every rep you do is clean, smooth, and full range of motion. We want a lot of repetitions, but we want to keep in safe um, technique and good form. That's always number one. So. Let's go ahead and talk about the exercises. We've got three of them. Again, we're gonna go with a push-up, a prone back row, and a shoulder press. Those are the three that we're gonna do. So today's focusing on upper body. Push-up, I'm gonna be down on the floor. I'll show you a couple of modifications for them. My full push-up position, my hands are right underneath my shoulders. Okay, so that's a common mistake. Be really careful with this. A lot of times when people set up in a push-up position, they have their hands up here by their face. You wanna bring them down a little bit, put them at chest level, just on the outside of your ribs. Fingers splayed out. You're gonna be up on your toes and your hands. Okay, hips level with your shoulders. You don't want your buttocks way up in the air or way down by the floor. Imagine there's a glass of water sitting on your back. You gotta keep yourself level. Now as you come down, make sure that your elbows point back slightly as you come down and press back up. You don't want your elbows pointing straight out to the side to nine and three o'clock. You wanna keep them pointed back slightly to eight and four o'clock. So full push up from the toes. If that's a little tough for you, we can modify by bringing the knees down to the floor. Okay, with this, really pay attention to your hip position. So when my arms are straight and I'm on my knees, my hips are not right over top of my knees because that takes all the pressure then out of my, um, out of my core. You want your hips forward and you want a straight line from your shoulders to your hips to your knees. And then as you lower down, everything moves together. So my thighs, hips, belly, chest, everything lowers to the ground together, a few inches over the ground and then I push back up. Everything comes down together and everything comes back up. You're a, a straight line through the whole thing, okay? Now one more modification, if even those knee push-ups can be a little challenging for you, you can go to a raised surface like a countertop, the back of a sofa, or even the wall. You can do that same push-up on the wall. It's gonna be a little shorter range of motion, but you're up on your toes doing a push-up on the wall. That's gonna be a lot easier to work with. 
Next one, a prone back row. So the push-up is gonna work the muscles across our chest and in the back of our arms and our triceps. The next one we're gonna do is a prone back row. So we're on our belly, thighs, knees, belly, chest, everything down. Elbows tucked in at your side, your palms on the floor, kind of right underneath your shoulders on the outside of your chest. And so what we're gonna do here, point your nose towards the, towards the floor, head raised up, lift your hands up off the floor. So uh, my elbows are by my side, my palms are facing the ground, but my elbows and hands and forearms are about two or three inches off the floor. Then I'm gonna reach out overhead as far as I can reach and then pull my elbows back in by my side. Reach out and pull in. So this whole time, my hands and elbows kind of hover about three inches over the ground as I reach out and pull back. Reach out as far as I can towards the wall in front of me and pull back. That's a prone back row. And now the very last one, your shoulder press. I'm gonna show you the technique just without any extra equipment. I have a band that I'm gonna be using today. I'll show you how that works. If you have some weights at home you wanna use, a band, you can grab a couple of cans of soup, or you can just do your own body weight, totally fine. So, exact same position that we, you would use for the prone back row, except you're standing up instead of laying on your belly. So I've got my elbows bent at my side, I've got my hands up by my shoulders, palms facing towards you guys, facing the same way that my chest is facing. I'm gonna make a fist, point my knuckles straight up towards the ceiling, and push straight up and back down. Push straight up and back down. Now I'm gonna turn sideways so that you guys can see this who can see it. If not, that's fine, I'm gonna describe it. But what I'm gonna show you guys, make sure that your elbows, forearms, and fists are all completely vertical. So my fist is directly over top of my elbow, my forearm pointed straight up and down. And that they're a little bit in front of your body, right? So I'm not bringing my elbows way back behind me by my ribs. I've got my elbows, fists, and forearms just a little bit out in front of me. So if I had a bar that I was holding on to, I could do that overhead press and then bring it back down to my upper chest, my collarbone, without bumping myself in the face, right? And this is actually a lot better for your shoulders too. If you pull your elbows back here, you're putting a lot of strain in your shoulders. You want your elbows out in front of you just a little bit, fists right over top of your elbows. So from there, I'm gonna do that exact same motion, but I'm gonna take a band and it's a light band. You don't need a lot of heavy, heavy stuff when you're pushing overhead. Um, this is just the pink band, because I think real men work out with pink, so this works for me. <laughs> I'm pushing straight up overhead and coming back down. I'm standing on the band with one foot. If I want a little more tension, I can stand on with both feet. Or even so, if I want a little less tension, I can actually loop the band underneath, like if you're, if you were at a park or something like that, like the bench where it's a really sturdy, uh, something kind of at knee level you can, and you can push it up overhead, something like that can help out a lot. So those are our three exercises. We're gonna go ahead and get it started right away. So you guys are ready, you've got some space. I'm gonna hit the timer. We've got two minutes per exercise, three minutes rest in between. So this is a real quick workout. It's meant to be fast, meant to just target those upper body muscles, in the future, we'll do some workouts to hit the lower body, hit the abs, but that's the cool thing about an AMRAP workout. Very, very flexible. I'm gonna teach you guys as we go along how we can mix those in. So get yourself set up in your push-up position, whatever variation works for you. We're gonna get our timer going. We're gonna get started in three, two, one, and go. So I'm gonna to try to keep track of my push-ups here for you. Get as many as I can and making sure that I'm staying in good form the whole time. And I don't want to count too much and throw you guys off your, <laughs> your push-up game. So we got two minutes. Give me what you got. Good. Nice and level. Keeping the body straight and strong. Whew. Push-ups are not my strong suit. But you're gonna stick with them because they're so good for your body. But I've never been like the most amazing at push-ups. A lot better at pull-ups than push-ups, as odd as that sounds. Going down, pushing up. Do the best you guys can. Whatever modification is good for you, do it all you got. Come on, keep going. 
keep it up. Elbows flare back just slightly. Deep breath. Okay, let's go. Whew. Shake it out. This is the thing about an AMRAP workout is you got two minutes. So you're gonna take little breaks and then you go. Take little breaks and go. As many reps as you can. Keep going. The best you got. Really gonna make you sweat too. Drives your heart rate up. Not much longer, guys. Come on, not much longer. Get a few more. Keep that belly squeezed in. Don't let the belly sag down. Pull your belly button in. A few more, come on. Oh man. Oh, is it burning? Come on, come on, come on. Let's go. Couple more, a few more seconds, and done. Okay. Good, guys. Shake it out. It's good, it's tough. It doesn't seem like much, right? Two minutes doesn't seem like a long time, but it definitely adds up quick. All right, we got prone back row. So we're on our belly, elbows in at your side. We're gonna reach out and pull back. Working the muscles in the shoulders and the back. Get yourselves ready, set, and go. Reach out, pull back. Reach out, pull back. Good, guys. Try to count your reps. Sorry, I'm trying not to, trying not to talk too much to throw you guys off. Keep track of how many you're doing. Focus on keeping your nose pointed towards the floor and your head pulled up towards the ceiling. So we're looking down, but you're lifting your head up. It's gonna help line up your neck and shoulders. Reach out, pull back. Obviously this is a lot lighter than push-ups, not nearly as much strain, but we get more repetitions that way and you'll find your limit there, that way. Reach out, pull back. Just get as many reps as you can. Some of you maybe you'll get 15 or 20 reps. Some of you maybe you'll get 80 or 90. You just do whatever you're able to do. Whew, how you feel? Well, whatever your number is, we'll try to beat it next time. Oh, the burn. Oh, it feels good, sort of. <laughs> I know it's working, that's for sure. We're getting in a six minute workout today, seven minute workout, and it's very effective. A few more, guys. Not much time left, not much time. A few more seconds, come on, get a few more. Get a few more, reach out, pull back. Try to keep the knees and toes on the ground. Reach out, pull back, reach out, pull back. You got it, we're almost there. Uh, almost there, and done, okay, good. Last exercise already, just three today. Quick workout. You don't have to be doing this stuff for an hour and a half. It's got to be focused and determined. I'm going to do shoulder press. Got my band all set up. Standing up tall. Remember, you don't need any equipment for this, but if you have it, great. Get ready. Whew. Shoulders and back are tight now. All right, set and let's go. Push it up and down. Now, this overhead movement is going to catch up to you quick. Especially like, you know, I've got the, the band going. Resistance bands are kind of neat to work out with because they have what's called an ascending strength curve. So if I'm holding on to five pound weights, they're five pounds whether they're down here at my shoulders or up over my head is five pounds through the whole thing. The band though gets harder the further you stretch it. So as I push it up overhead where the lift should really kind of be at its easiest point once I'm towards the top 25% of the lift, it actually becomes even harder with the band. So it's a really cool way to exercise on that ascending strength curve, but it's hard. <laughs> 
So all of that to say, don't beat yourself up if you're like, man, I only got 20 shoulder presses in two minutes. That's still a lot. We don't reach up over our head very much. Whew, I'm burning here. All right, I'm gonna get a few more. So just do the best you can. Just give it all you got. And if you can beat it next time, you beat it, whether it's 10 or 100. All right, I'm gonna get a few more. Push it up and down, push it up and down. Good, come on guys. Keep those wrists straight. Don't let your wrists bend back. Knuckles up towards the ceiling. Almost there, uh, almost there. Got a few more. Push it up. Uh, ooh, it's burning. Couple more, couple more, come on. Timer's almost done, almost done. Come on, guys. Give me a few more reps. Push it up. Uh, a few more seconds. And done. Oh, that's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. Awesome, guys. Example of a quick workout. Example of uh, some of the timers I'm gonna have set up in my project for you. Some of the, the different ways that you can mix and match exercises. I've got Tabata timers, I've got AMRAP timers, I've got circuit timers and EMOM timers. Um, there's so much that I'm gonna be teaching you guys and helping you out with as I work on releasing the Revision Fitness Project. Um, and this is just an example of how they can be thrown together at a real short, real quick workout. So. I'm glad you guys joined me for this one. Lots more coming up, so stay tuned. Be sure to share this, to like it, to comment on it. That kind of stuff helps me in so many ways. Um, there's so many people who need this kind of help, who need this kind of information. So I need you guys to reach out to them for me. I need you to go to your circles, invite your friends and family to um, subscribe to this channel, um, to join the Facebook groups and, and make sure that everybody is finding this information. And that's how we're gonna grow this community. So you guys are pivotal in that, and I really appreciate it. So from Revision Training, let's change the way we look at it. You guys make it a strong day.